Yeah. Off we go. It definitely helped me feel more comfortable coming in here, for sure. Oh, that's, just that's seeing, really good to hear. And just like hearing you how you talk to talk is very like, because I, I have anxiety and ADHD, so it's like, I, I've had really terrible experiences with doctors, just being super disrespectful. I, I still can't get over that people do that and, and are in health care. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I'm, I wish when I was younger that I got my... And that was the end of the conversation. That, that, that was the, the answer. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> okay. I'll try not to swear too much. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry. But, but uh, yeah, I think it's a big issue, especially nowadays. I, I have a big thing with healthcare, especially private care, mm -hmm. because there's too much focus. I, I believe it's just the maybe younger generation is money versus the actual care. Mm -hmm. Everyone just wants a paycheck. But the truth is, you're here to be a healthcare provider. You're here to provide a service. Yeah. And that's the number one priority. Yeah. Um, but people are just way too concerned about making money, and it ruins the care. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it really bugs me. Private service and even all healthcare is just like it's just like a machine. Yeah. But we forget about the people. Yeah. So that's how I, I really love and run my business. The only thing that matters to me is, you know, you get the care you, you're coming in for. Yeah. So, you were really nervous about the needle. Yeah. And how was it? Tell tell the whole YouTube world. It's not that bad. It's not. It's not. It's not the worst. It's, okay, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. It feels like a piercing. Like if anyone's ever gotten a piercing done, that's exactly what it feels like. Um, and it's over and done with in a second. It is. So, it's so it's not that bad. So this is that tourniquet. Yeah. So there's very little to no blood. Okay. So. How old would you say when you started really picking at the nails? Um, probably around 15, 16. And was it just because you were getting pain? Pain, yeah. Um, yeah, because at that, that, that time I was working in landscaping and I was wearing steel toe boots. And so my, my toes were just in a, in a state. Anything sharp here? Nope. So we're doing our last little check. Anything sharp here? Nope. Anything here? No. Here? No. Awesome. So like I said, I was actually oh, worried. Way in there. <laughs> yeah, I was all the way in there. So <laughs> I was actually worried. Let me focus a little bit more. Uh, I was actually worried about, I was actually worried about how thin the nail was because you, you, before you came in, right, is like if we can't get all the nail properly, the procedure won't work because the acid won't get in. But your nail is, as thin as it looks, it's still there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot still here. Ooh, Sorry, so I know it's freaky. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna look away because it's just I'm expecting that to hurt so bad, and it's not. So it's like, oh my gosh, but. But it is pretty amazing to see this thin, thin layer of nail that you you've left behind, yeah. and how close you are to you just removing your own nail. Yeah, I I have like it's. Bloody, or never to that point. Um, no, no the blood. Um, but at the time that it came off, um, it was so thin because of the wear and tear from boots that it came off like what you're doing right now. It just, yeah, like that. Yeah, you can see the corner very yeah. thin. That I didn't get though, though, those big corner parts there. I've never been able to get those out. Well, you, so you it's because you left all the fun for me. Yeah, yeah. So there is how paper thin that nail was. Yeah. But still so there. Awful. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was it. Mhm. Mm We're gone now, eh? That okay. is nail is gone. So now we're just getting some of that kind of almost like scar tissue that builds up. Yeah. Which I'm sure you've seen. That's you mainly felt. what I pick at too is the scar tissue build up. And yep, it's it's just the body's reaction to all the poor trauma that it's receiving. Yeah. And there's a decent amount of it. So we, <laughs> no, no, it's just, you know, you had to do what you had to do. You were in discomfort and it was just a habit that uh, mm -hmm. happened. 
Now, we talked about removing just the corners, just doing our typical ingrown, but like we said, because of the state of the nail, how it's kind of thin, damaged for after all these years, mm -hmm. uh, you made the great decision even before I told you, just removing the whole nail. Yeah, that's it. Basically, been my plan for a while, just to get them completely removed because I I really can't handle this anymore. Um, it just it's so embarrassing. <laughs> no, it's not. And I hope that when you looked at the channel, you saw how many people are actually. Yeah. Suffering. There's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. It's not just me. No, uh, ingrown is the, the most common procedure we do here. Yeah. So what we're doing is just making sure there's no leftover skin or nail, really nail. Yeah. Now here's a question for you. Yeah. When this heals, is it going to heal essentially flat or? Yes. So because we're ripping all that tissue out, uh -huh. we'll create a new wound and the body will actually fill in okay. with a nice red granulation, what we call granulation tissue, nice red surface. Okay. It'll kind of self-level. Okay. And then it'll be one nice smooth area. Okay, cool. So those corners will come up. Okay. Because uh, my thinking is, because oh, I am- a, I was about to say, yeah. I am probably gonna tattoo on toenails, um, on myself as a, a good practice thing. Uh, I'm not, I'm using numbing cream for that, for sure. I'm not gonna tough that one out. No, you're not gonna give it a go at this year? No, you? no, I'm not gonna tough that one out. <laughs> Well, when you do that, you should self-film it okay. and send it to me. Absolutely. And then we could link up your any socials, your, your contact info. Yeah. And yeah, it'd be absolutely. awesome because I was thinking, man, if I had someone to actually send all my patients if who wanted to get a tattoo on their toenail. I would be 100% down for that. And oh my gosh. Practice on myself and so long Oh, we got to do that. That's the good. first patient you know is that I'm still new to it, then yeah. No, no, it, that is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, sweet. We're going to have an awesome video. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. Gonna, that's that's cool. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. We actually have um, one of the guys at our studio has started to practice um, tattooing nipples for women who have oh, second. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. That's that's really niche and I think well, m m really well needed. Yeah. A lot of women, like, they ask tattoo artists if they can do it. and. Um, is it just because they're unaware or just... No, it's because it, it's, it is like a cosmetic thing. So the like skin tone matching, color matching, all that kind of thing is extremely difficult. Gotcha. Um, and it, it is hard to make somebody happy with that. Like um, my mentor, she used to do like a permanent lipstick, permanent eyebrows, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But she got so tired of clients kind of being unhappy with how the result is after it heals that she's like because that's one thing when you it, yes so and you can only do so much and if it fades after a year it's like well did you put the did you wear sunscreen did you do all this in the end too your skin just regenerates differently from other people like everyone's results are going to be different there is no definitive result on how a tattoo is going to heal and i'm sure even with this kind of thing like you don't know exactly how no. you know it's going to look you can just say hopefully basically how the, how the seen, body yeah this how the is body what it might do yes. kind of thing so yeah, it's, it's a lot of that. So like I never got into the um, the nipple thing, but this guy he practiced on a buddy of his on his thigh, so he has a nipple on his thigh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's easy to cover up later. Took one for the team. Yeah, exactly. But I, I might talk to him more about that kind of thing. So I'm I'm, I'm definitely willing to do something like that for women. I'm just like trying to gain confidence with people's bodies kind of thing so i'd be totally down to tattoo toenails on people <laughs> <laughs> this could be awesome yeah, I don't, yeah it, it, it's gonna wow that, you're gonna be my girl <laughs> you're gonna be the contact yeah so this is the acid that's stopping the nail from ever coming mm -hmm. back so really making sure to flood the corners mm -hmm. now do do, does tattooing ever cause keloid scarring or reaction like can. that? It can. And um, that's the worst. Yeah. That's tough to deal with. People with a lot of melanin in mm -hmm. their skin are prone to keloiding. Yep. Um, so there are different approaches you have to take to different types of skin. And that's not to say that you can't tattoo darker skin tones. There's definitely a lot of tattoo studios that haven't called out for refusing or not showing enough of darker skin tone clients because they're also hard to photograph. But... I mean, you just treat the skin. What's the difference? What, how do you treat it? Um, so basically, you just have to take a little bit more time. Um, 
use a bit more of like something that's going to reduce the swelling of the skin because they swell almost immediately, um, which can make doing the tattoo a bit difficult, but it's just with more experience with that skin tone, then the better you get at it. Um, color is difficult, but again, every skin tone is different. So you basically, like if you have like a flash sheet, which is like pre-made artwork, um, that you're willing to tattoo, and if it has color in it and a dark, someone with a darker skin tone wants it, you do have to be upfront with them and say like, hey, I know that this is the color I have, however, with your specific skin tone, this might look better. Because there's like, if, like the yellow on my tattoos, it stands out because I am so pale, but yellow on a dark client really doesn't show up. Like, and I mean, there's different shades of dark, so it's... So, all done. Sweet. This is how you're gonna take care of it. Cream, okay. gauze, okay. and some wrap. Okay. And basically you're gonna do this morning and night. Okay. For one week. Okay. Then you'll send us a picture. Okay. And then we, depending if everything's looking good, then we switch to that brown liquid. Okay. And that was literally it. Awesome. To stop the toenail from ever coming back. Now, because we removed the whole nail, you want to put a little bit more cream so it doesn't stick to the gauze. Okay. I usually tell people, if it's not bleeding tomorrow, mm -hmm. then just stick with cream and a bandage. Okay. But if you notice that it is still bleeding a little bit, mm -hmm. you can switch to uh, stick with the gauze. But if it's, like, if it's not bleeding, it's relatively just red, cream and a bandage so nothing gets stuck. But just okay. make sure if you are using gauze, you put enough cream. Okay, let's get that other tool. Is it called a gun? I don't know, I call we it a call gun. We call the machines now. Okay. <laughs> that is a bit too violent and uh... <laughs> that, that makes sense. So I was like, yeah. oh, should I call it a gun? Okay, yeah. I just did, oh, sorry. It, it just has, um, cause tattooing already has such a negative Oh, cause they say tattoo gun. Yeah, That's and true. like, well, it, it, tattoo because machine. of the industry. Yes, yes. In the previous history of the industry, it's, you know, people have a very negative opinion of tattooing. So, you know, if you try your best to like, not have that. <laughs> it's kind of like it's a machine. But it's really, it, it's really, uh, you know, it's still going strong. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. It's it's booming now. It's um specifically with like women. Um, really. Brown is yep, just yep. what is accepted. Where by do I one last little check? One girl, I, Anything okay. sharp here? Nope. Here? Nope. Down here? Nope. And over here? Nope. Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's. Uh, it's become widely more accepted. So a lot more women are coming in and being like, you know what, I love my body and I want to adorn it. Nice. Kind of and like, that's how I feel about mine. Like, um, it's my body and I can do whatever I want with it. I've had enough people doing whatever they want to do it. Mm -hmm. That it's kind of like reclaiming my, my skin kind of thing. Because it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful experience. I really like the look of like a three-quarter sleeve on, yeah. and I have a decent arm from yeah. ripping from ripping ingrowns. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. So this one was really tricky on the side. Yeah, okay. Uh, in in terms of like, you can see how cracked the nail is on the side. Yeah. You've been really working it, and a lot more width on this one. Yeah. But again, paper thin the nail itself. Yeah. been not treated well for a very long time but you were doing what you needed to do yeah. so you can see this one was tougher to get off it wasn't as clean yeah and we got still the side yeah. attached with all the skin yeah that's that was the, the last part and then we'll get in the corners but it was very very weak very thin from again just years of being traumatized you're always taking it down as thin as you could go I'm sure to relax the foot just for a second, sorry. It is okay. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Um, yeah, the corner piece is where all the good stuff is. There we go. What kind of tattoo would you get a big foot? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you got jokes too. That's. I don't know. I think I would. I don't know. That's the problem too. I haven't. I don't know what would be meaningful enough for me to put on. Tattoos really don't have to have anything anymore. I, I know that because it's just a look, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know. 
Because if you're having trouble with designing it, like um, we do designs, like we're artists at like first before we're tattoo artists. Um, so when someone says like they want a custom design, like you'll you'll get a, a custom design and go back and forth on kind of thing and do whatever you need to get done. It's, but with that it's like sleeve pieces, so like a three quarter sleeve yep. that you're thinking of, Is it? yeah. Well, basically, if you have a consultation with her, she'll take a look at your arm, get some ideas from you, and then just do the design. And I've never seen someone turn away design from her. Because it just like, immediately is perfect. She's, she's that good. <laughs> yeah, she, I, I, I get into tears sometimes looking at like the work that she does on people because it's like, that's so amazing. How did you do this to skin? Because <laughs> uh, she's been doing it for so long. Um, that's crazy. You said her mom did it. Yeah, her like they both like run the studio together. Mm -hmm. um, How old? Is I think she's almost like late twenties, I'd say. Wow, and already that good, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, she's been doing it since high school because like, oh, her mom yeah. has been doing it for so many years. Does she have a lot of ink? Yeah, um, not a lot. A lot, I would say. She's definitely lucky because her mom's a tattoo artist that she doesn't have bad tattoos. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sure if her mom had like not cared and let her get whatever she wanted, she would have had like the Hello Kitty, everything, everything tattooed. <laughs> I'm not saying she would have, but like it's definitely one of the things that you see a lot of young girls getting when like they first start getting tattoos when they're like super young. But her mom was like, nope, you wait until you get a good one, and then she did her tattoo. Her mom did her her tattoo, and it's beautiful. And she's also tattooed herself on her thigh. But she hates tattooing herself more than I do. I think. Why is that? Is the experience is just completely Pain, different. Yeah, it's different kind of thing. Some people. I mean, it's different for everybody, right? Well, all the skin's out. Sweet. Made it nice and clean in the corners. Awesome. Nothing hanging around. It was really scarred and damaged on this this side over here. Okay. Just meaning that, yeah, it was just a lot of, a lot of dead skin, a lot of callus. Yeah. And it's like having a, a scab to get it off, a new scab form to get it off, and that's what was happening to it, and that's what changed the nail itself. Yeah. But uh, I think I would have to do something toe, toe bro related. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would definitely be a super fun tattoo to design. Yeah, um, definitely need to do something on my foot. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I had, I had an idea. <laughs> it's crazy, but like you said, you practice tattoo on yourself. Yeah. Ripping out my own toenail forever, so I could like tattoo the Tobro logo on my toe. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah, rip out my own toenail forever, and then I get you to tattoo the Tobro logo right right there. Yeah, for sure. It's a very small area. Yeah. That's the only issue would be it's so small you have to somehow abbreviate it or change it so it's not like full toe bro. Yeah, to yeah. A lot smaller. And I would freaking numb my toe again. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would suck, I think. Yeah. There is no shame in using numbing cream. Oh, I'm not gonna numb. I'm gonna use an injection down oh, here so, yeah. so you can numb, so you can do my whole nail bed, and I won't feel a thing. Oh sure. <laughs> you can't actually tattoo fingernails and toenails. Uh, it does grow out with the nail, but... Actually on the nail itself? Yeah, it is possible. Yeah, I've never done it personally, but um, I've seen a few people during, like, during COVID just kind of at home wow. practicing around and with their machines and they've, they've tattooed their fingernails. Putting, like, is the needle behind. passing into the nail bed or no? It's just no, staying on top? No, it's just hitting the nail. Just hitting, it's okay. not going into the nail bed. Yeah, it's definitely an art. What you do is that's pretty amazing. It takes a lot of a uh, lot of patience to learn it. Um, there's definitely some like frustrating aspects of just like why am I not getting enough saturation in this black piece kind of thing or things like that or how come my lines not thin enough? And it's, no. I'm still like learning. Obviously, I haven't been doing it for that long. Um, but the passion's there. Oh yeah. Absolutely. And so that's that's definitely huge. Definitely changed my life in terms of like job. I used to do like office work and all that kind of stuff and just hating every single day, waking up in the morning, just like, I don't want to go anywhere. And now it's just like, oh sweet, I get to go to work and just do art all day. That's awesome. And that's like all I've ever wanted to do my whole life is just be an artist. And now I get to do that and get paid. That's awesome. 
Now, how often do you, would you see people who get tattoos and are unhappy? How do you resolve something like that? Um, you, if like if it's done by us, we basically see like okay, what went wrong, um, and have maybe a more experienced artist fix it, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, generally, like with stuff that like Gina or the owner of Monsoon does, you don't see many people who are disappointed. Um, you see a lot of people who haven't healed their tattoo properly, for sure, and are confused by that. Because um, you can't pick at a tattoo. So, why well, is it scabs? Yes, yeah, so you don't. You, every scab you pull is, you're pulling out ink, gotcha. essentially. So we will we'll see that, and it is really obvious when it happens. It's, and people try to say it's our fault, but it's like, it's really not, though, and like, it, and it, when people get tattoos on their hands or their feet, those fade so quickly. Like, we've seen like tattoos on hands fade maybe a couple weeks after getting them. Jeez. Just depending on what the people do for work. Mm -hmm. Like, if you wear jobs, if you have kids even, um, or you're just picking them up all the time. Especially with COVID, we see a lot Wa of Yes, people, with all the washing. All the washing hands Al and yeah. stuff, all the alcohol, like, they'll fade so quickly. So usually when people get like a hand or a foot tattoo, I say, Plan to touch it up every one to two years um, and get a design that you're okay with it fading, kind of thing. So, like, if you wanted to get the Tobro tattoo, it's yeah. great, but it's also probably more temporary than. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? I'm coming up to a million subscribers. Oh, um, nice. I don't know, a, a tattoo on my toe for a million subscribers. Would be hilarious. <laughs> it would be hilarious. I love that. Uh, I don't know, I think I'm gonna hold on to your business card and think about it. Yeah, absolutely. I got a month and a half. Yeah, really. Before I hit my million. So nice. I'm gonna think about it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe absolutely. I get you to do my million, uh, a million dollar, not a million dollar, sorry, a million subscriber tattoo.